morning, ladies and gentlemen. Aloha, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, my name is Shad Naho Oleva. Welcome to the empty Lone Star Hawaiian garage because our entire fleet is here in the driveway. Now, if you guys are new, I invite you to subscribe below, be part of the family because we just made a new addition to the channel and it's this monster right here. We got some pretty epic stuff coming up. But if you are here solely to learn how to test your battery and charging system with a very simple tool, skip to this point in the video, this, this number right here, skip, skip there. But if you guys are true fam, stick around for this one because we went to the most epic car show that I have ever seen in my entire life at Texas Motor Speedway. There was a lot of choices there because we were going a little bit shopping, window shopping, for the next edition to this bunch here. And I need your help to decide what else we should add to these three monsters <laughs> right here. We got the monster truck, we have the monster car, and we have this monster nightmare we continue to fix pretty much each and every day. But let's go ahead and have some fun today. Enjoy today's video. banana trees in Texas? The answer is yes, banana trees. All right, so today's video is gonna be a fun one, but I'm not exactly sure where today's video is going, but we are taking the SRT Charger to its first car show, heading to Texas Motor Speedway today, but what we're doing first is obviously cleaning this thing up. My wife's been driving it all week and she's dirty. So who's up for a 6 a.m. cold start? Good morning, neighbors. guys is a pitch black now what pitch black means is there's zero metallic flake in the paint itself so when it's clean it looks absolutely menacing but when it's dirty yeah it's it's bad but really cool thing guys i'm holding in my hand chemical guys now has distribution in walmart because i'm super cheap i go to walmart all the time i could not believe chemical guys now has distribution in there so what this is is a quick detailer for leather So we do have the SRT trim, which gives us this Napa leather interior. The leather quality is pretty good for an American car, but comparing it to even like an old Mercedes, leather is subpar to that. But it's super nice still, but in order to keep it really, really nice, we're gonna use this Chemical Guys quick detailer on the leather. It's a real nice smell, and it also cleans and protects that leather. No, this is not sponsored. I was just really excited to see Chemical Guys at Walmart. Money clears, towel laces clear, stay no longer move around and fear disarray. Pray you hear me like the winter wind against your window pane. Feel the face, baby, smoking in the leather. Well, guys, welcome to Texas where it is September and 102 degrees, but it is okay because we are at Texas Motor Speedway. And of course, we brought the SRT 392 here to this beautiful facility. Woo! Oh, I love this place. And front row parking too, conveniently. Guys, there's a black ZL1 right there that would look so sinister sitting right next to the SRT. What do you think? SRT and the ZL1 combo? Oh, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day, guys. <laughs>
say, got it tatted on the tunnel. And we are back guys. That was a phenomenal car show. I have never seen that many cool things I wanted to put in my garage ever all in one place. Texas Motor Speedway is a fantastic facility. And to be honest, I was just a kid in a candy store the entire day. Did a terrible job filming by the way, because again, just really excited to see everything. But we're finally back. We're finally gonna check out something that I have come across that I think is really, really useful. And for you to know, if you go to my channel, the most popular video on the channel is the battery test we did. We had an issue with my truck to where my battery was going bad, but I didn't know if it was the charging system or if it was the battery itself. So we did the video. That video having nearly 640,000 views at this point, I've gotten a tremendous amount of questions that were really, really basic questions. And I figured there's gotta be an easier way to test your battery to know if it's a charging system or if it's a battery or if it's another issue. And guys, there's a tool out there that'll tell you that. So we're gonna show you that today. But before we get over there, I apologize. Every single one of my neighbors decided to mow their lawn all at the same moment this morning. So what we have to show you today is one of the coolest tools I have seen, which is the Topton Battery Tester. This has a tremendous amount of capabilities behind it. Now you might ask, why do we have all three vehicles pulled in the driveway this morning? Because we're gonna test out all three of my cars to make sure my battery and charging systems are working correctly. We're gonna start here with my 2007 Silverado behind me. I know that my charging system's working correctly. I know my battery is relatively new. We shouldn't have any problems there. So this should be a pretty sure uh, check for the truck. The charger, it's new, it better not have any issues. This will be another check most likely. But again, the reason I was inquiring about another tool is uh, this thing. We potentially have another problem with the Mercedes, surprise, surprise. And we're gonna test out the battery slash charging system because for some reason, every time I start it up, it feels like it's getting weaker and weaker. Let's go ahead and start at the OG Lone Star Hawaiian Silverado here. 5.3 liter Vortec V8 Canon Colder Intake System. It's also got a Borla XR1 muffler. Everything else on here is stock. We have our battery. We have a Duralast Gold battery. I bought the higher class battery knowing I'm gonna keep this truck forever. So red goes the positive, black goes the negative. Pretty simple. Once it's hooked up, it'll automatically detect that it is hooked up and turn on. So as we're hooking this up, looking at some of the capabilities of the tool, it'll do a voltage test check the status of health. If it has a certain cold cranking amps and it's sitting significantly below that, if it needs a new battery, it will indicate you need to replace it. If it's capable of recharging and reusing, it'll tell you that as well. Now I also check status of charge as well as a voltage test. And then lastly, you can actually do a charging test while the vehicle is running. So if you have a good battery, but your alternator or charging system's bad, it'll indicate that as well. Extremely useful tool, really commercial grade capabilities that come with 800 plus dollar normal tools for really 50 bucks. And it works across nearly every vehicle out there. 
As you see in my own driveway, we got a big muscle car, we got a German-made Mercedes, and a good old Chevy pickup. Again, compatible with nearly every vehicle out there, but let's go ahead and hook this thing up and see the actual functionalities. All right, we currently got the truck off. We're gonna hook up the negative and then positive side. And then it automatically detects that it's hooked up and turns on. Hit OK. Select language. Go ahead and go English. And then now here you have a select test. You can do in vehicle or out of vehicle. So if your battery's actually pulled out of the vehicle, you can test it as well. But because we are in vehicle, hit OK. And then what we're gonna do is a before charge. So next up, you're gonna select what type of battery you have. This is a regular flooded battery. We have EFB, you can also test gel, as well as AGM spiral, AGM flat plate, but we're using regular flooded, so hit OK. And then input. What we're gonna do is the cold cranking amps, or CCA. If you look on your battery, we have cold cranking amps at 730. So what I'm gonna do is input on here, cold cranking amps, OK. We have 730 selected, hit OK, and it's gonna test. So here's the results of the test. What I'm looking at is the amp. So it's reading 665 right now, it's rated at 730. So it's a little bit low, but again, it doesn't surprise me. The truck's been sitting for about three days, so it needs a good drive. And it's saying good recharge. So the battery's good, obviously, just needs to be driven a little bit. So we're good there. And next up, I'm gonna do a cranking test. So what I'm gonna do now, it asks me to start engine and it's gonna test the cranking at start. So let's go ahead and start this thing up. So we have RPM detected, now it's testing. All right, here's the result, cranking normal. That's a great sign. Next up, we're gonna do a charging test. I'm gonna hit okay. And what it's doing is a load test. So it's gonna test the amount of charge coming from the alternator and charging system back to the battery to make sure that, that is correct. It's telling me to increase my RPM. So good news, charging is high. Loaded at 4.8, non-loaded 5.08, ripple is normal. So basically it's telling me is everything's good to go, battery's good, charging system's good. So okay, we are set for the truck. Now next up, we're gonna check the charger. And again, that better be good as well. Now there's really no need to pop the hood on this thing because the battery is actually in the trunk, but just because the truck's hood is popped, we're gonna do the charger as well. Okay, really good news is the new charger has a good battery. Surprise, surprise. All right, so SOH 100%, SOC is 98, currently reading 800 amps. What we're gonna do next is a cranking test. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine. So neighbors, time to wake up. RPMs detected, so it's testing. So first off, cranking is normal, which is a good sign. Hit OK. We're gonna do a charging test as well. So I'm gonna hit OK again. Increase rev. Okay, you got it. So good news, obviously. Charging normal, loaded at 4.36. Non-loaded at 4.6. The ripple's normal, so everything's good to go with this car. So current results, truck's all good, charger's all good. It's time for the potentially problematic Mercedes. All right, so in this dark crevice, we have the Mercedes battery. All right, she's hooked up, hit okay. Good news, so currently the SOH is 100%, rated at 900, currently 1045. It's telling me it's good, it just needs a recharge. So again, the car just needs to be driven. We'll keep a close eye on that. All right, so it's testing, cranking is normal, so that's, that's a good sign, hit okay. We're gonna do a charging test as well. I'm just doing a load of testing right now, it's probably gonna tell me to crank up the RPMs here in a minute. So increase rev. Our charging is normal, loaded was 13.72 volts, non-loaded 13.88, the ripple is normal. The car's fine, good thing. Let's go ahead and unhook this. Well guys, there you have it. Super easy to use tool. I really wish I had this the first time I did that battery video. If you enjoyed 
the car show earlier, guys. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite vehicle. We saw a lot of potential out there and really exciting potential future vehicles for the garage. As we continue to get traction with this channel and continue to grow it, we're gonna get more and more exciting vehicles out here for you guys, but I need your help to do that. So like and comment below if you enjoyed this one. If you do wanna check out this tool, I'll put a link in description below. If you act quickly, you can get 15% off of this using the code below. Now that will expire pretty quickly, so act quick, and the date for expiration is indicated below. But as always, if you are excited for what this channel has in store with this entirely new Hemi powered platform, as well as continuing with the truck. We have three vehicles now, so I can get a little more crazy with the truck, which I'm really excited about. Now, as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, get the inside scoop there. Lone Store Hawaiian on Instagram before you see anything drop in on YouTube. But as always, guys, y'all take care. Aloha, stay practical, and enjoy the ride. Peace.